as well a shape sitting monster in Filipino popular, usually possessing a combination of the traits of either a vampire, a ghoul, a warlock, or witch, or demon species, or bird beast. Other names are Iti, Bayon, Nipotabla, Wakwa, Sakso, and Lingli. to assist the lives of every human when most of the natives were converted to Christianity during the Spanish era he was referred to the Christian God Some Filipinos believe in Duende that frequently live in rocks and caves, on the trees, and visited in dark parts of houses, or in hot fields, or old man of the land. Categorized as good or evil, depending on his or her color. Duende. Oh, 
Please welcome this time, Rosalie L. Bayaro as Capre. Capre dwells in big trees like Acacias, Landos, Dango, and Banana, also known as Balete. Capre wears loin cloth, known as Bahan, without to be invisible. Not considered to be evil, but later gets full in the tree where he lives, is cut down. Capra. Next is Leia B. Egario as Kumatato, another version of Kamatan. This time in trio. Kumatato refers to the three hooded spirits that knock on your door with signals that someone will die the day after. One of them resembles that of female, and the other two look like old people. There was a point in time when residents painted cross on their doors to scare this trio. Please welcome this time. We shall be Jake Martinez as Mambatana. Mambatana, known as ordinary human being with skills in black magic. Mambatana uses insects and spirits and occasionally other materials to enter the body of anyone she curses. She uses a strand of hair from her chosen victim and tie it to the bag or work that she will use as a nature among the bag. Thank you, Mambabara. <laughs> Next we have Christian May C. Tunglao as Mamumuyas. <laughs> Mamumuyas is known for her hostile or hostile hands and can be various ailments to tell she hates. Mamuya is also known to give twisted now or painful tumors. Mamuya doesn't join in the community activities, and people are afraid to pass her out. Mamuya. Thank you. Next we have Mika May S. Indian as Mananangal. Mananangal is described as a scary vampire-like mythical creature in the Philippines. 
and known as man-eating and blood-sucking monster or witch. Manananggal is popular in the Visayas or Visayan region, especially in western provinces of Capiz, Iloilo, and Antigua. Manananggal. the tribunal of its sleeping victims by night, but becomes powerless by day. Mandurgo is set to live in cafes. Mandurgo. Aptina as Mount Kukula. Actually, in real life, she is a Mount Kukula. Mount Kukula is a person who uses dark or black magic, does evil things to people for revenge. She starts a premeditated ceremony, recites a spell. Uses a pretty doll to represent the body of a target victim. The victim will feel intense pain each time the pretty doll is quick. Mom to Ula. Si 
Sobrang tulipa po ay panay ang kuha ng bibay. Malay na po. Actually, yan po ang pinakamahirap na karakter ng mga kagayari. Dahil mahirap po ang tabing paganda. Maria Maki. At ang iwata na tagapangalaga ng Tiyong Lula. Nakamamang siya at kapansin-pansin mo ang kanyang kagandang. Isang kagay na kailan may hindi nakukupas ang kanyang Lula. Kung sino man ang sisira ng aking kagubatan, ay aking pag-usahan. Ako, Si Maria Makhili, Diyosa ng Kagubatan. Buti lang din siya sa Kagubatan ng Diyosa ng Kagubatan. Next is Gary M. Florendo as Marco Bo. Marco Bo is a giant serpent with a red crest by percating tail in a tongue with sharp spines on it has a toxic breath that could kill any living thing it touches Marcupo draws in mountain tops Ako, ang kakas na naninirahan sa kagubatan taglay kong lakas at kapangyarihan Yeah, ikay susunduin ang kamatayan. Ako, si Marcupo. Marcupo. Next is Stephanie I. Pierre as Nuno Sapunso. Nuno Sapunso is a dark-like creature who lives to live in an anthill or thermite mount. Nuno Sapunso has the ability to curse trespassers. Victims might be inflicted with swelling or pain on any part of the body. Vomiting of blood, urinating blood liquid, or having excessive hair brought on the back area. Nuno Sapunso. Next is Priscilla P. Chaos as Sipin. Sipin is said to come out at night to suck the blood of victims from their shadows. Also said to walk backwards with its head lowered between its hind legs and have the ability to become invisible to other creatures, especially humans. Sipin is also known as another type of a swamp. Serena is a sea or aquatic creature with head and torso of a female human being and tail of a fish. Serena is known for having beautiful, 
in a charming voice, God can try and hypnotize me, especially fishermen. Serena. and forests of the Philippines. Also said to be a tall, bony humanoid creature with a head on the hooves of a horse and disproportionately long limbs. The pollen plays tricks on travelers by leading them astray. The pollen. Last but not least, we have Mary J. 